Hello everyone, welcome to Momentos de Tecnología again. Thank you for watching this video. In this opportunity, we're going to have um, the, the Amazon Echo and a smart switch of TP-Link being configured right in front of you. So you can understand in case that you have not had any experience with Amazon Echo. Remember that this is a beginner's video. If you have had a previously experience with the Amazon Echo or TP-Link, uh, this video is not gonna help you much. A lot of people do not enjoy much and packaging your 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 products in front of the camera. I enjoy it very much. Companies as Amazon, Apple, uh, and many others make a lot of effort making the best experience for you or creating the best experience for you and packaging your devices or packaging the devices for you to unpackage. Um, I think it is only fair uh, that we give a little bit of justice to that. Okay, so this is everything that comes with the Amazon Echo. Uh, right here we have a compa uh, for comparison the Amazon Echo Dot. As you can see, is a little uh, is very little the Amazon Echo Dot compared to the Amazon Echo, which has a built-in speaker which has very good quality of sound. This one is the second generation. Mm, it, it is covered in a very special fabric, which makes it very makes it very comfortable to to grab. Okay, um, we have not seen any difference in the voice recognition. Uh, this one is the, um, the, the the power adapter, and we're going to compare it in a later video with the Amazon Echo Dot and the advantages and disadvantages. Right here we have the TP-Link Smart Switch. This one is the, the, the most common model that they are offering through the Amazon website. Uh, it has, of course, the brochure, uh, some, some uh, advertising products, and here the device. As you can see with the first uh, devices that we used to have right here, um, there isn't much difference between the both versions that we have bought. Actually, the electronics may be different inside, but from the outside, the only thing that you see different is the printing and maybe the logo on the front side. Even the, the weight of the, of the device is the same and uh, the shape, the exterior shape. Good. So we're going to power up our Amazon Echo. Uh, as you can see right here, we have already installed the Amazon Alexa app. Mm, so let's proceed. Let's power up. Let's connect right here the power cord, the power adapter. Right here you can see the auxiliary output where you can connect some other more powerful speakers if, if you wish. Um, in the meantime, we're going to sign in to the Amazon Alexa app with your Amazon account. Hello, your Amazon Echo is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Okay, as you just heard, our Amazon Echo is, um, is prompting us that we should continue the setup of the product in the Alexa app. Right here, we're going to continue click continue we choose the device that we want to set up in this case the amazon echo of course this list has increased uh, the last few days because of course amazon has introduced many more products lately right here we choose of these five languages that we can uh, make our setup with and we continue we're going now to connect to the wi-fi that is being broadcasted by the Amazon Echo. The Amazon Echo is creating its own Wi-Fi. This Wi-Fi is for us to connect to the device and configure our home Wi-Fi. Let's connect to the, the Amazon Echo's Wi-Fi. Usually it is going to be named Amazon and a number, in this case 2Q3. We connect to it and... You've connected to your Echo. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Okay, so that's what the Amazon um, Echo is prompting us to do. We're going to continue now the, the setup of the product from the, from the app. Now it is going to ask us for the password of the Wi-Fi of your home of your, or your office, wherever you are setting up your product. We're going to give, up, uh, to give the, 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 the Wi-Fi network password and uh, what my device is doing right now is that it is sending that information to the Amazon Echo so the Amazon Echo can connect directly to the internet. Okay, that's all. And once it is connected to the internet, you can 
uh, execute any order. Let's test it. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 2.54 p.m. The first times that you interact with uh, Alexa, of course, it is going to be a little bit slower because it starts downloading the, the most recent updates. This is the Bluetooth uh, panel connection in case that you want to use external uh, speakers. Right here, I'm going to, to uh, as associate my, my personal account to my Amazon Alexa. So it is going to send a confirmation code to your phone number. Um, as I don't have the phone number right here, I'm going to make a phone call because the, the number associated to this account is another one and it's not by me. Okay, so I give the code and it is already set up. Remember that this is very important in case that you want to use the voice over IP services that Amazon can provide, like call another uh, Amazon Alexa Echo or or just send a message. Uh, right here in the Smart Home button, um, I can set up now my, my devices. Uh, we're going to, to set up this device first in the TP-Link application. In this case, the app for the TP-Link is called Casa. That's house in Spanish, but with a K. And let's go to the App Store and download the app for TP-Link. Once we download it, we're going to execute it. We're going to open it. And we're going to begin the setup process for this device. Of course, the first time we use it, uh, we're, it is going to prompt us to create a new account in the TP-Link servers. We give the username, the password. We create the account. And of course, we're going to have to verify through our email this device. Okay, now we're going to create a new device. As many as we have by our side, uh, we're going to, to set up. First, we're going to connect it. It's going to, uh, to take a couple of minutes in order for it to be ready. We're going to add a device. We look for the device that we're going to set up. We click Next. We wait, of course, for the linking button. Remember that the linking button is also a power button. It is a smart switches. And then we're going to and we're going to just name it and go to the Alexa app. In the Alexa app, in the Amazon Alexa app, we're going to enable the skill. You go to the skills menu. You go to the TP Link skill menu, search it, enable it. And once you have enabled the skill that is going to interact with the CASA servers, you will have to provide your username and password from TP Link. This step is very important. That's why you don't have to have your TP-Link app uh, running on your cell phone. You can just run it once, leave it like that, uninstall it, and let Alexa, uh, let the Alexa app handle all your, your electronic devices. Of course, I wouldn't do that just in case you need to uh, run a diagnostics or something. Once you have given correctly the, the username and password of the TP-Link account that you just created moments ago, you can control all your devices from your Amazon Alexa app. Let's go to Discover Devices in order for uh, Amazon Alexa app to synchronize all the information with the TP-Link uh, servers. Okay, so once this is done, you're going to see all your, or, or your devices listed here. Right here, the lights mm, is the only one that I have. Let's remember where we are. We're in the Amazon Alexa app. We go to Home and the menu and go to Smart Home, and in the Smart Home, you see the devices that you have. You can create groups and scenes also. Okay, um, let's make a little experiment with this. But first, I'm going to show you these other devices that we have had great experience with. These are the Sky Roku um, 701, which we can find at the Amazon. Very good priced and very reliable. Let's make a test. Alexa, turn lights on. Okay. Uh, as you may see, the, the, the order that you give to the Amazon Alexa app through the Amazon Echo uh, is very simple. You can make, for example, changes here. You edit the name and you change lights 
for example, to heater, you close it and it doesn't matter the name that it has in the, in the TP-Link app, the important one is this one, Alexa, turn off heater. Okay. For us people who have a native language different than English, uh, it, it would be wise, or even to English speaking people, uh, it would be wise to, to name it with very simple names. Uh, I've seen that sometimes it reacts to an order doing something different or um, it turns the living room lights when you say another one or if it is a noisy environment you can change these names to something a lot simpler uh, for example uh, this just comes out of the top of my head Max and if I say uh, or if I save it let's test it uh, Alexa turn Max on okay and that is just another way to go okay everyone thank you very much for watching we hope you liked this video it was of any help remember that we do not encourage you to buy any products we just like to share what we know what we have experienced um, but what we enjoy the most is sharing this information with you thank you very much again and see you next time